time I was doing, oh, I was able to make a room and then I was able to connect the plug in the Unity 3D Oculus Rift app integration package into it. Um, but what had happened was it glitched at the last second and gave me some random room and um, we weren't able to actually look at it. So, made some changes. Um, I was working on it this morning. Actually, it was pretty easy to fix. It was just, once again, fixing the, the scripts, which is basically the coding for the packages that I installed. So, um, worked on it today and I'll go ahead and explain what's happening. Okay, so here's my room and I put pictures on it. Oh, it's cute, and I call it doggy heaven. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know I'm pissing off a lot of gamers right now. Um, okay, so so right now I have, I'm importing a package, and that is the Oculus Integration Unity package. So this is the plugin that helps everything work. You import everything, and wait for it to load. Just skip that. And then I'm going to go to the OVA folder. And yeah, right now I'm play, putting the player controller in as directed by the video, the YouTube video, which I'll post here. So yeah, as you see right here on the side, there's, it's telling me what's wrong with the scripts. Um, I'll try and zoom in. So I go ahead and put the file, I put build project and so it's compiling the set scripts right now but as you can see because of those warnings that I have inside um, it's not working and so I go to the console I can check unfortunately as a mono developer wasn't working on my laptop my MacBook so um, I had to be sneaky about it if you click on it it usually takes you to mono developer you can download mono developer for free and then you can edit the scripts from there I think it might be easier uh, on a PC or maybe your MacBook is different um, otherwise, I found that Sublime Text essentially works perfectly fine. It's the same as well. So, in this case, so uh, basically, open Sublime Text. I looked at the file, opened it, and um, since I discovered the last time that I was using it, it was the program, the Unity program that I'm using is 5.1, and these codes are set for 5.0. So. Um, Went into the files, pulled them up. Um, as, as you can see, it says it's a shim loader OVR file, shim loader OVR. So I opened that and went ahead and changed um, line 52, I believe. It says right there, line 57, but it starts at, that function starts at if it is Unity 5.0. So that's why I wasn't able to continue with the rest of the process. So I changed that, and now that function should be able to work um, once it verifies that that's the software I'm using. And so I changed that, and as you can see, when I put build project, it's starting to work. Although, the, you can check the console, and you see that it's fixed there. And it saves inside that folder, you open the folder, you press whatever screen size you'd like. I picked 1078, that's what was mine. And you can see it's starting to merge the 3D. <laughs> All right.